How's it going everyone? I hope you're all well. Welcome back to the channel and I thought I'd do this video on uh, setting up a thermostat on your racks. I get asked a lot all the time, Gav, how do I set up a thermostat on my racks? And the way I do it, normally with my breeder animals, I like to have a stat on every level. Now, it is a bit overkill, but I do like to be able to dial each level in. It is overkill, you don't need to do that. One stat can power one rack. Now, the question I get asked is, where do I put the probe? Well, before we get into that, I'm gonna show you how I do things, and I'm not sure if you can see but I use the Habistat Pulse 600 watt stat on all of my racks. It's an analog stat. I don't use digital ones. The digital ones I find on rack systems don't really work right correctly. I'm going to put it out there. I'm probably get slandered, but that's all that I found. I found the analog stats work better. The digital stats work perfect. Uh, on incubators so you know digital stats are great but I find they work better on um, incubators so let's get into the video so as you can see we've got an LP 40 rack which is 11 tubs high uh, so in total we've got 22 tubs but it's 11 levels high um, the great thing with LP is obviously you guys know it's a modular design so you can just keep adding the levels as you go and it's perfect for space saving. Anyway, I digress. Let's look at the stat. Now, the reason why I put it there and I cable tied to the leg is because I find, you know, when you're looking at the rack, it's out the way, it's not at top. So you don't need a bracket for it. It's just hidden away. If anyone comes into your room, little kids, and no offense to little kids, but they like to mess with dials and stuff. Obviously, if you put the stat at the top, that's fine. But sometimes the wires on the thermostat don't reach. So I put all of mine in between the tubs. That way I can get in with my two fingers or just remove this tub and get to the stat. When you're setting up the probe, that's the key the numbers on here ignore and the reason why i ignore them is because i use a thermometer gun to dial stuff in now if we look 91 and i'm working with baronides that's just how i work again roughly about 90 91 now, when we put substrate in there, it changes. Now, the reason why I dial the racks in without substrate is because I want to the hottest part of the tub, which will be the back, obviously. You, you know, if they get too cold, they can burrow down to the hot spot, and they will find that hot spot. But what I love is to give them a... Uh, a good thermoregulation point so they can come from the hot spot wherever they may be to the front and they've got a good gradient in temperature and again it's all a trial and error thing guys this is how i do it you may do it different but i always make sure that the hot spot without substrate is around 88 to 90 degrees okay now the question I get asked is, Gav, the bottom is different to the top, why? Well, let's have a look. Obviously, heat rises. That's at the bottom. And let's check the one at the top, if I can reach in there. There we go. If I do that tub compared to that tub, Do that one again. As you can see, this tub is kind of saying it's warmer by a degree. That could be the hot, the heat mat on that particular side. But again, we want to work on an average. You know what? This side's probably going to be cooler because I've got the air con blowing this side of the rack. 
one thing you've got to think of these are open sided racks so if you have got an open sided rack and you've got a fan blowing this side of the rack is going to be cooler it's obviously going to be cooler on the floor compared to top heat rises but again once you've got the rack dialed in um, away you go now what I would suggest is you dial the rack in before you put any animals in set it up for 24 hours come back and through that day through that 24 hours do your hot gun test and slowly adjust the stat we said this was 91 was it there or thereabouts 90 this side let's do this one 89 again i've had the tubs open the fan is on let's try this one there you go so with a pulse uh, with a pulse stat pulse proportionate stat it will pulse it won't switch it on and off it'll get it up to temperature then it will just pulse to keep it at the temperature you've set it at now like i said this was set at 90. now if you look or i've shot it at 90 if you look the dial's roughly hitting 92 okay so i'm not far off what i'm getting but i don't really pay no attention to the gauge i work off like i said i work off my heat gun the probe is all the way back there in the middle of the tubs it is on one two three four five it's on the fifth level again this is 11 high so this is on the fifth level so it's not on the top it's not in the middle it's not at the bottom it's on the fifth level let's have a look how i've done the probe i've used insulation tape which is the silver foil tape to tape it down now if you look i've not put it over the sensor and that's a common mistake that we've probably all done in the past including me i used to put it over the sensor now this tape is obviously conductive so when this gets warm it's going to give a false reading to the actual sensor the sensor sits in between the two tubs in the middle of the mat hopefully you can see it. again it's not on the label it's it's hovering there so what i'm getting i'm getting a good gradient because if you look at the tubs try and do this one handed they don't sit on top of the mat they hover above the actual mat and again the reason why i've put the probe in that position is because it's kind of replicating what the tub is doing and what i've done i mean this tape it's it's it sort of it doesn't really come off that easy so you know it's not going to get warm because if you do use stuff like normal tape um cellar tape any other tape masking tape gaffer tape it may get warm it may warm the glue up and it may come off that's when you've got a problem if this comes off as you can see i've cable tied it using an orange cable tie so it gives me a visual to see where the probe is located if that tape does come off then the the cable tie will keep it in place and i'll at least have um you know some sort of warning that you know it's happened because the you know obviously that will lift off the snakes will go to the front of the tub so then i can look at the rack look at the probe and it will give me an indication that something's happened now if that falls off and i've not got a cable tie and it falls to the back of the rack i'm going to have a major issue because that the mats are just going to go sky high and it could potentially cook your animals which you really need to be careful so double up on the security a cable tie and use as you can see i've used two lots of tape and normally once every quarter i go through my rack and i just through my racks and i make sure that the probes are doing okay replace any electrical tape that are holding it down or the conductive tape or the foil tape whatever you want to call it uh replace it if necessary this is a trial and error this is how i do it i find this gives me the best results as you saw with me temp gunning uh, i find that this gives me the best results and roughly works 
in conjunction with the numbers that are on the front of the stat. So there we have it guys, that's how I set up my thermostats on my racks. Again, you can do it different ways, there's more than one way to do it, but I just really like the fact that the stat is hidden, it's out of reach from people, you can't accidentally knock it. If you do need to adjust it, you can just literally go in there with your two fingers. Uh, like I said, it's not easy, but it, this is why it's there, and you can just adjust it to where you want it to suit the temperatures, and then go back. Like I said, I tend to shoot it without the substrate, shoot the hot spot, and that'll give you your reading. Again, you can check it from top to bottom and work out. Now again, the questions I'll get, well Gav, how can we, you know, the bottom seems to be cooler than the top. That does happen again, heat rises, but what you could do is put a separate stat at the bottom and then adjust that for the bottom row or the bottom two rows and dial the bottom in separate from the top. Um, it's entirely up to you. But that's how I do it, guys. I hope this helps. I hope it gives you some food for thought. I hope it gives you, um, you know, some ideas on how you can do yours. Again, it's all here for helpful information. But for now, guys, and again, if you want to see the build on this rack, click up here and you can watch that. Um, that build, fantastic racks, fantastic space saving. But yeah, that's it. Hope you're all well. Again, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely amazing. And if you have subbed, make sure you hit that notification bell for my latest uploads. But I hope you're all well. Thanks for tuning in. Take care, and I'll see you guys on the next one.